Why is it so difficult to get a good Batman Cinematic Universe underway? In today's video, we'll be talking about just that. So, as I'm sure you guys are aware by now, there have been countless rumours, announcements, false announcements, cancellations, and God knows what else over the last few years when talking about Batman movies. There was, of course, Ben Affleck, who, in my opinion, while he didn't get the best movie, was a fantastic Batman, and Bruce Wayne. I genuinely feel like we found the Batman. We found the person that should play that comic book accurate Dark Knight. Unfortunately, the movies that he was in... They lacked. They lacked a little. He was of course supposed to get his own movie, The Batman, which he was going to direct. I think he had a big part in writing it, and of course was going to star. Then he wasn't going to direct, then he was going to star, then he wasn't going to star, then he was going to direct. And it all got a bit messy. We ended up getting Matt Reeves, The Batman, which yes, it was a fantastic movie, I love it. That's now its own universe, but it's not part of what will be the new DCEU. Now, we do know that James Gunn is kind of taking over that role and overseeing the, the future of the DC movies, if you will. And they have announced that there's going to be a Batman Brave and Bold movie. Now, while, of course, I'm very happy about this, this is running alongside the, ba the Batman universe, Matt Reeves' Batman universe, because I don't want that getting replaced because it's its, it's, it's, its own thing and it's great as it is. I don't want that interweaving and getting messy. So it's great that's like a black label or whatever they're calling it. Oops. But this new universe, which I'm assuming is starting with Superman. I've already forgotten the name of it. What are they calling it? Superman. Superman Legacy. I think that's one of the first movies in this new DC. I'm going to call it universe. Um, and the Batman Brave and the Bold will presumably tie into that at least exists within the same universe. Now, all that we know is that the Russo brothers have stated they are interested in directing The Brave and the Bold. If you don't know who they are, they are most famous for directing some of the big Marvel movies. I think they did Winter Soldier, um, Endgame, one of the other Avengers, and maybe another Captain America. I don't know. They did some of the good ones. Anyway, <laughs> and um, they have expressed their interest. One of them stated that Batman was their favorite hero growing up. This could be great. Now, all we know about the story itself is it will be the cinematic live action debut of Bruce Wayne's biological son, Damian Wayne. I have a full video on Damian Wayne. If you don't know anything about him, check that out. Now, while this is great, and while seeing a live action Damian Wayne is fantastic, something I've wanted to see for a long time, the problem is. Why do they have to just jump straight to that? Why is it so difficult to set up a Batman universe, start from the beginning, give him his origin? Yes, I know we've seen Batman's origin time and time again, but if we're going to set a foundation for a solid Batman universe and a Batman within a DC extended universe where Superman exists and Green Lantern exists and there's going to eventually be a Justice League but done properly, then you need to start with a solid foundation. Give Batman his origin. Introduce Dick Grayson as Night uh, as Robin, then turn Dick Grayson into Nightwing. Bring in Jason Todd, have him killed by the Joker, then turn him into the Red Hood. Bring in Tim Drake, then have Tim Drake go off on his own and bring in Damian Wayne. I don't see why that's so difficult. I understand it's about money. They want to get to what they want to be at straight away. Let's forget all the setup. It's going to take five movies. We don't have time for that. I get it, but there's ways around it. Why can't you do a Batman origin story now? And then, okay, we introduce Superman Legacy. There's some background talk about how Robin hasn't been sighted for a while, but this new, new hero Nightwing has appeared. Like, something like that. And then you go on to a Green Lantern movie, and we see Nightwing. Like, he's in it for five minutes. And then we have, like, another Batman where we're introduced to Jason Todd. Something like that. It doesn't need to be, you know, five, six movies to set up these different Robins and these different events within the Batman timeline. We don't have to do that. But why do we have to skip to the end phase? Why do we have to start with a Batman that's already 20 years into his career? Just like Ben Affleck did. We see in uh, Batman vs Superman with Ben Affleck that there's the Joker graffitied Robin costume, right? Which we can only assume is at one point belonged to Jason Todd or Tim Drake. It had a staff, it's very confusing. Um, but why do we have to start at that point? That's the stuff I want to see. I want to see those things in live action. How long have we known about Jason Todd, the Red Hood, and Tim Drake, and Nightwing, but not seeing them in live action. These are some of the most popular characters within the DC Universe. 
The Robins in general are super popular. You look at any big comic book channel, more often than not, their most popular videos are about about Robins. Some of my most popular videos are about the history of Robins. Variant Comics, a great channel, check him out. Uh, Aris Quinones, some of his most popular videos are also about the history of the Robins. I don't understand why it's so difficult for the overseers at DC and Warner Brothers and whatever to just go, you know what, let's just do it properly, let's just put the time into this, rather than starting again and then <clears throat> loosely restarting and then doing it some more, like, like Suicide Squad. What was that all about? Why do we have Suicide Squad and then THE Suicide Squad where half of them were the same and half of them were new? It's, it's just so difficult to be a DC movie fan. And what's really frustrating is they at one point were basically giving me exactly what I wanted in every single way other than story and some of the cast. Like for example, Batman vs Superman. Let's talk about the Ultimate Edition. That is almost great. Visually, better than any Marvel movie, in my opinion. The story that they picked, cool. Introduce Wonder Woman, Batman vs Superman, the whole Dark Knight Returns face-off, very cool. But why start there? It just doesn't, it doesn't work for me. Let's put in the work, set the foundations, and for once, have a Batman that we can be, a prou uh, that we can be proud of as part of a bigger universe. I know we have Robert Pattinson, and I'm, I'm enjoying it, I'm digging it, but it's not going to be part of a bigger universe. It's just its own thing, right? So surely, surely, the right thing to do would be do it from the beginning and do it properly. Sadly, it doesn't look like they're going to do that. It looks like James Gunn is just, just going to go, nah, I know the Batman I want. That's the Batman we're going to deliver. Damian Wayne is the coolest Robin, whatever they're thinking, I don't know. And that's the way they're going. I started this video just to rant about my feelings of the Batman universe. I haven't done one of these Batman ranting videos for a while, so I figured it's about time. And this felt like a, a good topic to do it on. I want to do it as a discussion, so be sure to let me know in the comments why you think it's so difficult for them to get this right. They've got so many aspects and elements of it right in the past. They got it right with Affleck. Everyone kicked off when he was cast, including myself. No, Daredevil, not again. You know, you all know how it went. But he was brilliant. So brilliant, I spent silly money on a Ben Affleck style bat suit. The cow's right there. But they still took that away from us, so they just can't get right, and what they do get right, they throw away. Crazy. Let me know in the comments down below what you think of this, what you think of this idea. Is it the right way to go? Is it better that they start with the Brave and the Bold and they introduce Robin, the first Robin in this universe, as the last Robin? I don't know. Let's discuss in the comments down below. Thanks for watching and listening to me ramble. Sometimes I just need to get these things off my chest, you know? And the best way to do that is talk to a camera and then <laughs> read your comments straight after I upload. Guys, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you have a great day. Don't forget to return to the Batcave for more Bat content. See you guys.